The first time I ever used cast iron, um, I used it totally wrong. I think I was making pancakes and I had this uh, skillet thing and I just threw this stuff on there and it stuck to it and it, I think the skillet had never been used and I was totally intimidated uh, forever after that point. The way that you use cast iron is you create a natural non-stick seasoning with uh, oil. So I hadn't done that when I first used cast iron. When you buy um, a regular frying pan in the store, it has that sort of nice non-stick thing going on, but that's made out of chemicals. And a lot of times when you use a spatula, a lot of that stuff will flake off into your food and that's really toxic and really bad for you. This is our cast iron skillet. It's pretty heavy. This should last for literally generations. It should last hundreds of years um, because it's just a big hunk of metal. Regular skillets that you would buy uh, probably last you at, at most a year and a half to two years until that stuff starts flaking off. And if for some reason you were going to get rid of this, it can be recycled because it's just, it's pure metal, so it can be brought to a scrapyard and just melted down. So I'm going to show you how to cook an egg on a, on a cast iron skillet. And um, I like to use olive oil, so I'm just gonna use, you know, regular olive oil. And um, you just put a little dollop on there. And the cool thing about the cast iron skillet too is that it retains heat, so it stays hot for a while. So I have an electric stove, so what I do is I turn it on and get it hot, and then kind of in the middle of my cooking process, I turn it off because it stays hot for a long time. Ooh. You can see it. it's not sticking. I'm just going to flip this. Oh, it got really hot. So that was a good demonstration of how it's not sticking. And you can see it's just, it cooks pretty well. And it gets hot, so you, you, you gotta make sure your handle is covered. So after your skillet has cooled down, you wanna wash it. The key to washing um, cast iron is to not use soap because you don't wanna get rid of the seasoning. So I have a little scrubby that I use just for the skillet. Um, or you can just use, um, you know, a rinsed out sponge so there's no soap. So you just want to scrub it out. Once you've rinsed it out, um, you want to put it back on the stove. It doesn't have to be totally dry, but what you'll want to do is grab some oil. I'm going to use olive oil and put a little dollop in there. So we'll turn the stove on to about medium and let it heat up. Basically what that's doing is that's keeping your cast iron from rusting and it's giving you that non-stick surface. So the next time you go to cook, you've got like a nice slick surface that's always on there.